Hey Emma, you want some coffee? You look like the kind of dog that French presses her coffee, am I right? Let's go make a video and show them how it's done. Come on, let's go. I was a barista when I was younger, and so I really care about a good cup of coffee. And since I'm making this video, I thought, I better practice my sound design. And what that means is after I recorded the video, I went back in and I re-recorded all of these sound effects. Take a listen. Cool mug. It's really important to get the right water to coffee bean ratio correct. I know that I need one ounce of coffee beans for every four ounces of water. Since I wanna make a 16 ounce cup of coffee, I know that I'm gonna to need to grind four ounces of coffee beans. Now take a listen to the sound effect I chose for plugging in the kettle. Ah, that's my electricity, isn't that good? I like that sound effect so much I had to do it again. Notice that electricity is in the key of the song, which I also recorded. Some more nice sound effects for you. In fact, take a listen to these beans. They record it real well. Now I hope you're keeping your coffee beans in an airtight glass jar. It needs to be airtight because coffee beans are a little bit like baking soda. They can soak in the flavors and aromas of whatever it's around. Now it needs to be a glass jar because the glass won't soak in the oils. You shouldn't use plastic and don't keep them in the bag, they go stale. Now take a look at my coffee grounds. They should be about the size of a grain of sand. If your coffee grind is too coarse, your coffee will be a little watery and flavorless. If your coffee grind is too fine, it's gonna be hard to strain with a French press and it can over extract and be kind of bitter. After my water started boiling, I wanted to do my first pour over. Now I only used just a little bit of water just to soak the grounds. We're gonna use the rest of it later. I need to give those grounds about 30 seconds to soak up the water I just poured on. This is a good time to set your timer for four minutes. Now the next sound effect you're about to hear is actually cream going into coffee. But since I didn't have a sound here, I reused it. Do you think you would have noticed if I hadn't told you? I don't think so. Well, it's been 30 seconds, time to add our water. Notice how I gently pour the water all around the sides of the carafe. Next, I use a thin stream of water to soak the rest of the grounds. Notice when the water hits the grounds, it goes from dark to light. That's the coffee being extracted. If you stay in the same spot, it gets lighter and lighter, and you want to avoid that because the lighter the coffee foam, the more bitter it is. We call that over-extracted. Look at that color. Those are the coffee oils, and we call that top foam the crema. Place the lid of the French press on, but make sure it's not touching the crema. And now we have to wait, but you don't have to wait. I can edit this down for your convenience. Oh, don't give me that sad look, Emma. Your coffee's almost ready. All right, it's time to strain our coffee. Slowly push down on that handle, and the reason you want to do it slow is you want to preserve as much of that creme on top as you can. Mmm, that is pure coffee goodness. Well, the coffee is ready to serve, but before we do, remember to empty out that hot water that's in our mug. I've forgotten to empty that before, and then wondered, why is my coffee so weak? This is a great sound effect, by the way. If you did it correct, you should see a ring of crema floating on the top layer of your coffee. If you don't, it's probably the size of your grind or you're not using fresh enough beans. Make sure you're using a locally roasted fresh coffee bean before French pressing. Don't do this with Folgers, that's insane. I compost my coffee grounds by chucking them off my deck. I've been doing this for years and my lawn looks great. I also like to French press my soap. It works the bubbles into a thick lather that looks like latte foam. Ah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the coffee. 
because it makes you play faster and it makes you smarter. Have a good week and happy recording.